All right, so um, I know we did a, we did the floating shelf for our cabinet, but I see a lot of questions. I always see people asking, how do I do one right smack dab in the middle? Okay, so let's do a little bit of labeling. So you're talking about a fixed shelf. Fixed okay. shelf. So this is, I always call this, when I set this up, this is so daggone easy. As long as I always remember this in my head, top to top. Hear top me out on this. This okay. is, I label, this is the top of the shelf, right? Okay. And I wanna put the shelf, so let's just say right here. Yep. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll scribe a line this is the top of the shelf. This line is exactly where I want it to be, it be for the top of the shelf. So I'll just scribe that line across like this. Boom, right? Okay, so I label this always. And if, I, and if I'm doing the other side, I'll put them together, I'll gang them together, but I label top. That's the top of my shelf. Okay. That's basically all you need to do. All right, that's it. See you guys next time. Okay, so this is what I meant by top to top. This is the top of the shelf. That's the top of my shelf on the side of my cabinet. I'm just going to take the top and put it to the top, just like that. I fold it forward. And Chris, if we can get in here, see this line? That's my layout line, just like that. In other words, D, what's happening? Go ahead and just hold that. I gotcha. What's happening is the top, the shelf is actually becoming my fence. Because oh. if you remember in previous videos we've done, I talk about the domino, okay? Like this is the base, yep. and this part here is the plate. So we're gonna use the base as our reference today. We're also gonna use these flaps. Okay. Okay, because from the flap to the center is 37 millimeter. All right, so check this out. The, do you remember the distance from the base to the center of the bit? 10 millimeter? 10 millimeter, very good. So what we're gonna do is I'll show you how this works. We're gonna hook up the domino. Okay, and because we're using the flaps, we can do them all tight if we want. Oh, nice. Because okay. we're using the precision of the machine. So watch, I'll do a, I'll do a couple. See the flap right here? plug in the vertical position now. I'm going to take it like this. I'm going to push it right up against there. I'm going to take the flat and I'm going to plug in the vertical position. Okay? And I'll have you do this side. Okay? Perfect. We got our flat. We got our flat. We're going to the base. either side okay so say you get something more than like 300 millimeters wide mm -hmm. okay this is how easy it gets look I'm not this is not rocket science I'm gonna take it like that okay and I'm gonna put one in the middle but I'm gonna do them loose okay just because okay. now this one see the line right there So when I use my eye, I always like to uh, put a little wiggle room in there. Sounds good. So now this one, I do have to line up, but you see how the plate's not referencing? The only thing I'm using it for is the cursor. Gotcha. Okay? But I'm not trying to balance on it. I'm just using the cursor. So let's see what we got. Let's open it up. Okay. Let's get some dominoes in here like this. Beautiful. Beautiful, always dry fit, right? Yep, always dry fit. Okay, so let's look. This is the top of the shelf. Let's get those right in there. And look at that. Did that come right up to the line? Right it to did. The line, baby. And look at that, perfectly even right there. <clears throat> so there you go. That's how you put a board or a fixed shelf in the middle of a field. Awesome. Or the side.